The Upside Down Reader by Wilhelm Gruber. Chapter 7 Automat Land. At home, Tim's sign hung on the door. Grandma Lisa smiled when she tried to read the upside down writing. The first thing she did when she got inside was get out presents. For Tim, she'd brought a drawing pad and crayons. Tim smiled. There was a new green one. For Tina, she had brought a book called The Children from Automat Land. Now that you are learning to read, she said. Thank you, Grandma, said Tina, and she leafed through the book. Then she put it down. When Tina wasn't looking, Tim opened the book. He started to read it. Grandma looked surprised. Wouldn't you rather read it the other way around, she asked. This way the writing is upside down, like the sign on the door. Tim was embarrassed. He shut the book. After supper, Tina took the new book and read aloud to Grandma. Tim sat across from her. Tina read, Automat land is a very strange land. Everything goes by itself. In school, the children have... The next words were long. Tina tried it again quietly. In school, the children have... Have... Automatic pencil sharpeners with a propeller drive and a remote control, read Tim. Tina looked at him angrily. Do you know this book? Grandma Lisa asked Tim. Tim shook his head. So how do you know what is written there? Tim shrugged his shoulders. Where did you see those words? Show me. There, said Tim. He ran his finger over the words, automatic pencil sharpeners with a propeller drive and remote control. But that's the wrong way to read, said Grandma. Tim was embarrassed. He felt like crying. He liked to read, but everybody told him he was doing it wrong.